Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to edit some videos using basic, basic and simple steps and tricks to do to, to edit your video in a professional way and then upload it for example to YouTube or share it with your friends as you want. So first of all make sure to check my previous video which showed you how to record the video using Bandicam or any other free software that I mentioned in that video so please make sure to check that video first and now I will show you how to edit using a very simple and effective program software that I, that I use sometimes for simple edits which is called Freemake Video Converter this is totally for free no need to pay anything for it just I will leave the download link in the description below so just download it then and sell it using basic install just click next next etc so after installing that program you open you run that program and here is the interface that you will see so first you need to add the video that you want to edit of course so there are two ways to do this just click plus video here this one and then browse the video that you have to that you want to, to edit for example this one and then click open or you just can drag that video just go to its location in your PC and there it is just drag it to the program and it will be there as you can see here so now what you need to do first if you have for example some parts that you want to cut in the video and not to show them to and this happens sometimes for me when I do some tutorials I make some mistakes for example and then I need to cut these parts or just for example if there is a long time of waiting for setups and need to cut this long waiting because they will add more time to the video and you need to make it short as short as possible so just click on this scissor here click on it and then you'll see the video for example here this is basically a free clip that I record for example I want to cut some parts where I don't want to show something for example let's say I want to cut the first part where there, there were no movement for players so just you can drag the point to add, to check which part you want to delete so for example this, this, you want to get from the beginning just click on this this is the beginning of the, uh, the cat, cat part that you want and then move that cursor to see which part will stop for example this one here just click on the end selection and as you can see and it will be highlighted like this so this is the part that we don't need in this video just click on the scissor here or cut selection as you can see and it will be removed automatically and now that also for example after the kick free kick I don't want to show the exit of the recording but here it is the end of the video so as usual at the start of the selection then move to the end of the video and click on the end of the selection it will be highlighted as usual and click cat and now this is the end of the video as you can see it's very simple just you need to know which parts exactly and the timing is very important as well for, preci for precise timing you can use the the left and right arrow of your keyboard and you'll see that the video will go very very slowly so you must see which frame or time exactly you want so after after using the cat and and these steps you can click on ok and now this is the new video the first video it was about 7 seconds the new video is about 6 seconds and now what you need to do for example some some games or some tutorials you need to add some cool music 
for that video and here is how to do that. This one is for the sound of the video. You can click on it, you can click on no audio and this will remove any audio on that video so it will be without any audio. But that, that is not cool for videos, you need to add some music, especially non-copyright music from the NCS non-copyright uh, music channel. I will leave also the link of the channel of the non-copyright music so that you can download and use these musics from them. So now what you need to do is just click on add audio here then go to the music the non-copyright music that you added for me I put them in music folder and now for example I want to use this one and as you can see NCS release which is a non-copyright music and then click on open and now as you can see it changes also you can add subtitles but this will be very 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 time consuming because you need to write the subtitles manually and insert them in the right times so no need for that after editing the music now a very important step you need the output of the video to be mp4 this is the best uh, video quality that you need to upload to youtube so you just click to click on to mp4 here I advise you to use the same as source there are some other things that you can use for example a HD 720p this one or this one but I need to keep it same as source also you need you can uh, edit some set extra settings or advanced settings as you can see here you can choose the frame size for me I keep it original because I I record with this one so I keep it original same with these no need to edit them but if you want you can do it of course and now you can name or uh, usually I, I save to desktop if you want to change it just click on this and paste wherever you want choose just choose from here for me I keep on this so we need to change the name so let's say we need to name this from this one new edit video okay click ok and now it's better for tutorial especially it's better to use the two pass encoding just click on this one here in the blue just click on it and choose to pass encoding this will make the quality very good but if you recorded a gameplay no need to, to use two pass encoding because it will make the file larger and it will take a lot of time so just keep it to pass encoding just for tutorial and that's it just click convert wait for the magic of this amazing program and it will be fast because this is a very short video but for you maybe you will have longer videos so just click on and wait and as you can see conversion is complete and now let's check the new video and as you can see new music edited video very simple and that's for this little video and now I will show you a very important aspect and feature in this program which is combining videos in one video so for example let's say uh, just let's close this one we are done with it can use now the edited video drag it to the program and now we want to add an intro and an outro to this video as I do for my channel for example or other channels that you can see they add intro and outro in the in the sort and in the, uh, the end of the video I'll show you it's very simple just create your intro and your outro it's very simple I showed that in the article and my, my website and also have a video for that so for now I'll show you how to 
combine these videos in one video. First of all, you need to go to import your intro and outro the same way as I showed you. So let's go to videos and this is my intro. Drag it to the program and this is my outro. Drag it to the program as well. And now you as you can see we have three different videos what you need to do just first first of all arrange them in order so the intro should be the first just drag it and put it up as you can see now it's moved up and the second one is the video which is here and this is the outro just if you want to rearrange others just drag them as you can see you can change their place this is the correct order what you need to do is very simple, just one button, join files. This is join files, click on it, it will be on. Now these files are together as you can see, this is the total of the time, 11 plus 6 plus 11. A little trick also, you can change the transition between videos or no transition at all. If you choose transition off, then the videos will be displayed uh, one after another without any effect but if you want you can add this cool transition click on fade transition as you can see here and now there will be a fade transition between the videos as you will see in the output of this video as usual click on to mp4 here as usual you can for example rename it let's say final Click convert as usual make sure to give it to pass and click convert. This should be fast as usual because this is these are three short videos but for you just wait for them to, to, to render. And now as you can see the conversion is complete. So click OK then click close. And here now you can close this program as you end editing. And now let's see the final result of the elements. Let's see together. So that's the video, very short and very clear. As you can see, the, the size is very small, only 10 megabytes, as you can see now. Just right click on the video, click properties, and as you can see here, 10 megabytes only, which is very good for uploading and upload speed on YouTube. So this is very easy to do. No need for any advanced scales or advanced tricks. But for the advanced editing and for advanced tricks, don't worry, I will do the next video about the Camtasia Studio 8, which has a lot and a lot, a lot of effects and features that I use in my tutorial videos. So that's it. I hope to see you soon and peace out.